had a lot of people asking me what is my uh, oil catch can setup look like. Just want to give you a few pointers. I already have it installed and actually it's working great. Uh, I just got back in town so I made a little time to make y'all uh, a guide on the uh, catch can. So here is the way it looks like with the engine cover on. It's two cans. I got them both from Amazon. I will attach links to it and they look I think pretty legit, pretty factory or at least look pretty impressive for a fairly cheap setup. So here's what it looks like. The engine cover is on. And I'm about to take things apart and let you know and kind of guide you through what goes where, as well as uh, what do you need for the info. Here's the, uh, the actual setup. So as I mentioned before, um, I got both cans, it's called speed wows. They actually have bronze filter on the inside and the install overall is pretty simple. So while at it, I strongly recommend replacing those intake boots as well as those um, vent hoses while you at it. So to get to the vent holes, you just see two, uh, two torches there and just turn it counterclockwise and it just, it comes out. So long story short is what you need for this is pretty much very simple. You will need five eighth holes. You will need three quarter, well, yes. Three quarter inch holes here, five eighths, five eighths. So you will need uh, maybe three feet of the five eighth fuel hose, fuel oil hose, and three quarter inch, maybe one foot of the, uh, of the, oil and fuel three, three quarters hose so you literally will slide the 5 8 into the factory fitting right here and then I use the uh, heat shrink it's a 3 to 1 heat shrink you got the um, glue layer on the inside once you get it hot it will literally coat everything and seal it so it's not gonna be any issues with the uh, leaks or anything like that then on the vents Vents gonna have both vents, factory vents, gonna have uh, like a plastic fitting on, on, on the end of it. But all you gotta do is pretty much slide it off. You will see like a clip on it. You remove the clip and it slides off. And then three quarter slides over this. It's gonna be very tight fit. Probably the worst part of the whole install is gonna be sliding three quarter inch hose over this. So, of course, you gotta use some loop. Uh, and I'll get right so back. done with the uh, factory mountain brackets I mean with, with the kit comes with mountain brackets so I just kind of scuff them up and spray them matte black and uh, so the this will be out of the engine line it's gonna be you know the engine the uh, crankcase pressure gonna be pushing the air out and it's gonna get in there it's gonna get filtered out and actually the clean air is gonna get to the uh, into the intake so I believe and I heard and it makes sense that it is important to keep both in and out because with turbo engines when building both it could build pressure both ways so it's gonna it could possibly you know get the air pushed in there or get the air out it just depends on the um, how much pressure is in the crankcase because it could be I think it could be negative pressure at some points as well <clears throat> so I used uh, three-quarter 258 fittings the plastic fittings they are inside here they are not visible. Uh, I got them from AutoZone for I think like five bucks each. You will need two of these. And uh, I use this protective heat shrink, I mean, not heat shrink, protective sleeves to actually get the, um, uh, just to make it look presentable and everything looks pretty factory as, as you see. Okay, so to sum it up, it's we get two catch cans from the uh, Amazon. I'm gonna attach these uh, links in the description. You get those two catch cans. They come with the factory, um, I mean, not the factory, but those brackets in the kit. I had to modify it a little bit. This is how I'm on this side. You get a uh, three quarter inch, one foot of the three quarter inch hose, oil and fuel. You get about, I'd say three feet of the, uh, maybe four feet just to, you know, play it say four feet of the five eighth hose. <sighs> you get protection sleeve. Uh, you get couplers, three quarter to five eighth, five eighth couplers. 
and uh, you get heat shrink, which is one inch heat shrink, three to one. I'll attach all this in the um, in the description, and you just pretty much piece it all together. Uh, this is how I routed this side. It's gonna be uh, out, um, in, so in goes all behind this vacuum canister. It goes all the way in. It goes right there. And this is the way it's set up right here. It's gonna be out, in, all the way past back there. I have an inner chiller uh, line right here and the can is sitting right above it. So I believe the factory AC line is still gonna clear just fine. I also get, instead of regular hoses, uh, hose clamps, I get those pressure clamps. They look factory and I think they, they hold extremely tight and they are, they're not gonna give. So that's why I run on this as well. And that's pretty much it. I will attach pictures of what they're collecting, but to check your catch cans, you pretty much loosen those two bolts right here and remove the catch can, unscrew it. Um, what I've done before is I can I would bend it back a little bit and it should clear that as well. There's your dipstick to see if there's anything in there. Uh, some kind of gunk on it at the end. Focus, okay. And that's pretty much it. It does have some yucky, yucky stuff on it. And that's about it. I will attach links in the description to everything I used. It's it's super easy install, I'd say probably a couple hours if you take your time. And it definitely keeps all the yucky, nasty stuff out of your intake and out of your combustion chamber. Definitely worked for me. I'm making a video, the next video for the power steering and it just crossed my mind. So very important is to keep this system airtight. So instead of fact, whatever this, this kit comes with the rubber um, O-rings in there, I use crush washers and red Loctite so it doesn't spin off. And also very important to use those special fittings because the, um, the hose clamp, regular hose clamp, I believe it's gonna be cutting those hoses and it's not gonna keep it tight. Well, this keeps the pressure equal and it keeps it tight all the time. So you will avoid any possible uh, air leaks past the mass airflow sensor. So this is very important. You see those brush washers, red Loctite. Same on this side. Brush washers, red Loctite, special clamps. I'll attach everything in the description. Mm -hmm. Bye.